Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Got another unboxing video today or a de-enveloping, whatever you wanna call it. This comes from a company called Teletoons. Hopefully you can see their little logo there. And it's in Finland. And this fella apparently was a flute player and thought about, you know, 3D printing various types of flutes. And then he thought, you know, let's redesign the flute and make it really compact so it can fit in your pocket and everything. So in this little envelope, is a drone flute, but he has a couple different d different styles if you check out their website. But um, I was just like, you know what? I wanna check these out. And I'm not really a flute player, but let's see what this is all about. So here we go, ta-da. Is that everything? Yes, that's it, just the flute and the little instruction manual. So here is our flute. And this is an interesting twist on the traditional drone flute because typically with a drone flute, you've got two inline pipes and sometimes they might go out in kind of a V shape or sometimes they might stay parallel, but one side typically has no holes and the other side has the finger holes. And so one side just emanates a constant note while the other side changes notes and has a really cool sound. Well, what this fella did, you can see he sort of curved it. So it all fits into this very small little package. If we can see on the back here, I'm not sure if that's gonna show up, but it says Teletunes, and this one is in G major. So he makes these in all 12 keys, um, and they vary in price from about 45 to about 62, I think, somewhere in that general range, because obviously the lower keys are gonna get a little bit larger. There's gonna be a little more um, plastic involved. Now he says these are, despite the fact that they are 3D printed, they are extremely strong. He's like, you can stand on them and you know put pressure on them and everything. They're not gonna crack on you. I'm not gonna obviously test that, but just in holding it and kind of, it feels very, very solid. So that's what it looks like. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. Okay, so let's just start with the highest note and then I'll move down the scale and let's see what we get. Notes don't sound too bad. I can tell you right now, it's kind of a, <laughs> it's kind of an awkward flute to play, um, just because normally if you're playing an inline flute, as you go up the flute, you start, you know, and you take one finger off each time until you know as you kind of go up the flute. What you're doing here is it's like take a finger off, take a finger off, take a finger off, and then you go sort of back down the flute. It's just kind of a different feel. That and these holes are fairly small, but the way that like if I just put my hand on there. I'm basically completely missing this hole. So you kind of have to, and then I'm really cramming this finger. I don't know, the way that the holes are, and that could just be the key. Maybe if I got this in a different key, the holes would be spaced a little different. See, I'm, I'm definitely getting some squeaks and some not clean notes in there. So again, it definitely would take some practice, but I do like that drone tone that Okay, so there you have it, folks. That is the Teletunes flute in the key of G major. Now, good things about this flute. I love the idea. I love the concept. I love how small it is. You can easily take a drone flute in your pocket. I mean, this would easily fit in a coat pocket, back pocket of your jeans, number of places, and it's fairly rugged. And like I said, great, great concept. In playing it, I was kind of disappointed. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I 
don't, I mean, I'll mess around with it some more and see if I can get the hang of it, but it just doesn't feel normal to me. Now, keep in mind, I am not a flute player. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. That said, if you followed my channel, you know, I have a playlist of flute-like videos, which I will put in the description. And I've done stuff like this, like an Irish penny whistle. And this, I was able to get this right away. And I've done um, some Native American flutes like this one. And again, this, I was able to get this right away. This, I'm gonna need some time before I can play this. But that said, if you are into flutes, if you're already proficient at, with wind instruments, it might be a great thing for you. In any case, I will link their website in the description. That's where you get one if you are curious. And if you like these unboxing videos in general, I do have a playlist of those as well that you can check out all kinds of things that I've unboxed over the years and uh, some of them really fun. Now, if you do like this video or anything that I'm saying here today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this one. That like button really does make a difference to the YouTube algorithm and it really does help out the channel. So I'd appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed already, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Really appreciate you tuning in and I will see you guys soon.